Alright, so here we have a defaulted uh, S100 drive, and we're going to show how easy it is to set up PID. So you're primarily going to be in the APP group. Here's APP. First thing you have to do is enable PID. So that's parameter 1. You set that to process PID. And since this is a process PID, it'll add your main reference or any pre-programmed reference to your PID loop. So we don't want that happening most of the time. So we're going to go down to number 28. And we're going to set this to a normal PID, not a process PID. And the next thing we need to do is we need to do the scaling and the units. So we're going to go down a little bit until we get to 43. Uh, this is our unit gain. So if you had a 150 PSI transducer, you would set this up to 150. So keep in mind this is a percentage, so we, we don't have the possibility to set this to like a PSI or inches of water column or some kind of other unit. Uh, and then the next thing we need to do is set up our set point. So that was our feedback. So now we need to go to uh, number 20. Our set point is set for keypad. And then we need to actually program our set point, which is right here, so 50%. So this is 50% of the scaling we just set. So 50% would be 75% because it's 50% of 150. So let's just change that a little bit. I'm just going to lower it to about 40%. So there's a little bit of a calculation there since it's not like an actual, you know, unit. It's a percentage. All right, so that's all we need for our... Uh, basic setup here. The last thing we'll want to check is our feedback source. Uh, most of the time you're going to go ahead and set this up for like a I2, um, but I'm just running a demo here that has a speed pot, so we're going to use V1 to simulate a feedback. So now we're in PID. The next thing I'd recommend doing is uh, setting the main display. So we have three monitors. So in the CNF group we have monitor line 1, 2, 3. I like to leave monitor 1 at frequency. Monitor line 2, we're going to set that to PID reference, so that'll show our set point. And then the third line, and the bottom line, we're going to set this to feedback. So now on our main, main screen, we can see our reference, get down, we can see our feedback. So, as I turn my speed pot, which simulates my feedback, my feedback should go up, feedback should go down. And now if I run this, feedback is at zero, this bottom line here. So the drive's going to ramp up as fast as it can. <clears throat> and that also comes into play with your acceleration time. So it's going to go all the way up to 60 hertz. And then as your feedback approaches your set point, so as the bottom line approaches what you need to get up to for 60%. If we get right there, we can see the drive slowing down. So we're meeting demand. Our feedback is a little bit above our set point, so the drive is going to speed it down. And if you go a lot higher, it'll speed down a little bit quicker. And then if you drop below your set point, it'll start speeding up again once it catches up with that error. So that's a basic PID loop. So you only need to set four or five parameters. Uh, we didn't touch any of the gains or the integral time or anything like that, but this is all you need for a basic operation.